guys, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how to get 4,000 watch time hours fast and of course, 1,000 subscribers. I did a similar video some time ago, but whatever worked two or three years ago probably won't work today. Because YouTube in 2020 is way different than a couple of years ago. On my channel, in just the last 28 days, I've gained f over 4,000 hours of watch time. So I'm going to share with you all the things I've learned on my channel and stuff you need to know to grow. Before we move on, I'm going to say the three major metrics on YouTube. A lot of people pay attention to views and subscribers, but the most important one is watch time. And that's what YouTube pays attention to. And of course, how much people click your video and stuff like that. I'm going to share with you that later. By the way, guys, this video is going to be a little longer than usually. Make sure to watch to the end to get results like this or this. And this is only going to work for you if you put all the steps together. Number one, before you even make any videos, decide what videos you want to make and who you want your audience to be. For example, if you want to teach people how to garden, then your niche is going to be about gardening. And the reason for it is, if your channel's in a specific direction, YouTube knows which audience to promote your videos to. And if you don't do that, number one is confusing YouTube's algorithm, and number two is actually bad for your audience because you're posting 20 different kinds of videos. So it's going to be a bad experience for your audience. So in the past, I said post as many videos as possible and stay on a steady schedule. And staying on a steady schedule is good, but posting as many videos as possible in one week is not the solution anymore. And it's not going to grow your channel, actually. And millions of videos are getting posted each week, so if the solution was just to post more videos, then everybody would have like 100,000 subscribers. But unfortunately, that's not the way it works. Yes, posting new videos is important. It's better to upload two or three really good research videos that are targeted than some seven random videos. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump into the computer and show you well-researched titles to get more views on the videos you're gonna post from now. We're gonna talk about watch time in a second, but first, people have to actually click your videos. So you want to have high click-through rate. The higher the click-through rate, the better for your channel. Just quickly, the comment of the day and shout out goes to Ashley Lou. And this person says, oh, haha, I used to have my tripod for my GoPro, but I don't know where it is now. Yeah, I guess the tripod is pretty tiny, so I, you lost it easily. Just for reference, your click-through rate percentage must stay between 2% and 10%. The closer you get to 10%, the better for your video. So for the entire 2019, my click-through rate was 7.3% of click-through rate, which is not bad. But this year, it's 8.7. So it's getting better. But if you put last 28 days, it's even better than that, 9.2%. And of course, I have videos that have lower CTR like this one, but my tutorials have pretty good click-through rate. You see, this tutorial is almost at 10%. And you see, this is one of my recent tutorials and it's even higher. 12.5% of click-through rate, and that's really good. And remember, if you're already close to 10%, that's really good already. And you see, I, since I'm getting higher and higher click-through rate, you can see the results right here. And this is in the last 90 days. You can see how much my channel went up. And in the last 28 days, I got 4,300 watch time hours. And that'll be enough to qualify for YouTube's partner program already. And this is just to show how my channel was growing. And now I'm going to show you how you can do it too. So first, I bet you heard this a gazillion times. You have to have better titles. So first, get a YouTube extension tool. You can get vidIQ, but I personally use TubeBuddy. So first, how to really get awesome titles. And now we're going to type on the research box how to record a video. So there's an overall score and also weighted and unweighted. Weighted is how it would perform for your channel and unweighted is how it would perform for outside audience. So that's good because now you can find some outside audience. And that's the only way you can grow. 
So on the bottom, we have search volume and competition. That's how many people uploaded the video. It's unweighted. And optimization strength is how well your title is optimized. And over here where it says all videos and search results, it says 73.6 million. So guess what? When you upload this video, you're going against 73 million other videos, which are almost same like yours. And 22,000 people search for this title a month, but there's 73 million videos like this in search results. So if you actually put a title like this, nobody will ever find your video, except for the people that already know your channel. So now let's fix this title. And now I changed the title to how to record good quality video. And you see the unweighted score jumped from like 15 to 85. And it even says excellent. And for weighted, it got 53 points. It's not perfect yet, but it's better than before. And on the right side, it has suggested titles for you as well. And for videos and search results, it's 23 million. I know that's still a lot, but it's 50 million less than before. So you have less competition. Also, if you want to know how to make good tags, description, and additionally good click-through rate, click this video. So now that we have the title, the second one is thumbnail. And there's a few rules of how to get good thumbnails. Number one, the thumbnail should complement the title. It should never repeat what the title is saying, just add additional value to the title. Number two, the subject of the video should be very clear in the center of the thumbnail. Also, text is not always necessary, but if you add text, make it a bold text, clearly visible, and add some contrast to it. Keep in mind, they're scrolling on their mobile devices and the screens are very tiny. So if you put some fine font, they might not even see the text. And you want your thumbnail to pop up so they can click it. Additionally, you want to add a really good description, also ranking tags. Also, make sure that your tags are actually what you say in the video. And of course, match the title too. So now that people are actually clicking your videos, how can you increase your watch time? And keep in mind, that's extremely important for your channel. First, what you can do in the beginning of the video, right at the start, tell them what your video is about. Also, right away in your video, get to the major part of your video. Because if you're talking for two minutes straight and not going to the topic, they're already leaving your video. So the faster you get to the main point, the better chance they'll watch your full video. Average watch time on your video should be half of your video, so that should be 50 or 60%. Obviously, the longer they stay on your video, the better for you. And if you get 100%, that's really good. Your ultimate goal is to make people watch to the end. And also, there's audience retention, which is how many people actually watch to the end. So if you have 40% of audience retention, that means from all the people that clicked your video, 40% of them watch to the end. So if you have an interesting title and thumbnail and people watch your videos further, then YouTube will suggest your videos. And if you keep doing these steps on every single one of your videos, then some of them will actually take off. Like these videos, for example. Not only did they gain me 200,000 views, they also gained me over 3,000 subscribers. So if you keep making interesting videos like these, you'll no longer have to worry about watch time, views, or subscribers because they'll just go on autopilot. And that's the actual reason how my channel picked up in the last 50 days or so. By practicing the steps on every single video. Another way to get watch time, and this is gonna sound really weird, make shorter videos. And you're probably thinking, Chris, if we're trying to increase our watch time, why should we make shorter videos? So compress the video to be shorter size, but also provide all the information you have to say. And sometimes when you click a video on YouTube, the actual video is 12 minutes long, but the information that's need to provide it, it's only seven minutes long. And the rest of the video, he's just talking about random stuff. So cut that part out. Additionally, cut all the fluff in the video, any pauses, or any unnecessary stuff in the video. You can add some b-roll. So instead of talking for one minute straight on camera, you can add some b-roll. And that's going to make your video more interesting. 
Also, what you can do, you can change the scene a little. So you can change the background or even change the camera position. So just make your video interesting so your fans can pay attention to your video. Coming back to the previous point, yes, longer videos can generate you more watch time, but only if people will watch it to the end. Also, try to show people your other videos. You can do it by using info cards like this, or using end screens, which is at the end of the video. Not only will you get more watch time, but also YouTube will recognize that uh, people are not watching one of your videos, they're watching a couple of your videos. So that means your videos are good. So make sure you like the videos that you're making today as one month from now, or even three or even four months from now. And YouTube is not a short sprint, it's actually a long journey. And that's why you have to like the videos you do because otherwise you're gonna quit in a few months. And thousands of people quit their channel every day. Also, make sure you have some channel banner. And of course, on your channel banner, represent what you do on your channel. Then make sure you have some channel trailer. And of course, your about section filled up as well. And then put all the related videos in the playlist. So that way people can click the video similar to the topic. If you repeat these steps, then you'll get new subscribers all the time. If you keep posting new videos every week, the all subscribers will stay and new subscribers will come. And of course, always stay creative and try to improve your quality 1% of the time, whether that be editing or improving your video quality or even audio. You see, if you keep working on your videos, people will be more happy to watch your videos. And of course, new subscribers will always come and grow your channel. And they will grow your channel faster. You know what guys, I wish somebody told me all this information in the beginning of my channel because I would grow way faster. But still, I'm happy I shared it with you. And if you want to know how to fully optimize your channel to get more views and subscribers, click this video. Make sure to subscribe because I post videos like these every week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!